Hey Artisan, this is Artisan uh, another strand band creation that I made a couple weeks ago. This one's pretty cool. It's got some neat little beads that, um, I guess they're glass fauceted beads that change different colors, so they look really cool. And then I used um, these really nice um, decorated um, jump rings. They have a little design on them, but I used that along with the, I think this is the neon green strand bands and we had three on each side together along with the black. So let me just open this and see what the back looks like. The back is pretty cool looking too. See, either like this or like this. So I do believe let me see this side. You have this side. And then if you wear it like this, it looks like that. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, I really like it a lot. And so I'm hoping that I can recreate this. Um, if I have enough of the jump rings, then we will go ahead and get started on it. So I'm going to check my stash, see what I got. And then I will attempt to recreate this um, winding vine bracelet by strand bands. Or it's by me, but they are with strand bands. So, okay, get your bands together and we'll get started. Okay, so what we're going to do for this particular one, turn my, get my camera straight, is you're going to need, I'm gonna use this um, baby, it's like a baby blue or like an aqua color, it's really pretty, and a navy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna need three strands of whatever color that you choose. And get a long piece of it, okay? And then on this one, on your other color, you're going to need three. So right now there's four on here. I need to break one apart and take that off. Okay, and set that aside. So we need a three and, oh, I need a three and a two. So let me see which one we wanna have going. Let's do, darn it, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Okay, I need a two on this one, I think. I wish I would have done that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this one apart. Sorry about that. Whatever you want to do, I'm gonna do. Okay, I need two of one color and, and three strands of another. Okay, so what do we choose to do? Okay, so you're gonna take the ends, put them together, hold it up to where they're all lined up and you're going to fold it in half okay so fold it in half to where they're about the same okay like this fold it in half sorry I can't get it all on film and then this will be right where they so I'm going to cut this off so to make it all even the same approximately put all this junk scrap over to the side and now I have one piece okay just like so so I want to grab it where the center is and I'm just gonna loop it over like that and tie a knot I want to make it real small the hole real small so we'll go like this. There's still the full loop. We'll go like that, okay? So that's what we're looking to do. And it's somewhat, okay, it's not exact. But that's okay. Because the way we're gonna be winding it. So if you feel ridiculous that you need to make them all the same, then you may cut it again. 
to get them to approximately the same. Okay, like so. Still didn't do it right. Whatever. Not going to worry about it right at the moment. So, now we have our... Now we have this. Okay, and let me see. I'm wanting the one that has two, which is the navy blue. That's the one that's going to be getting weaved through the back. This, let me get that hair out of there. Okay, um, this lighter color is what's going to be weaved around the jump rings. Okay, so you're going to lift this up and there's some little teeth in there. And you're just going to place it on the teeth, close it and see, holds it nice and tight. Okay, so now we have, we're going to put these two strands over to the side, and we have these that we are going to just um, put together and place in, squish them in here, and that holds it tight. Okay. I'd like to show you what we're going to be using. I've got these jump rings. These are, you know, not the real teeny ones, but... Um, they're the thick, and I'll show you what I used on my last one. The last one is about the same size, but this one is more decorative. That's why it looked a little nice, but we're going to use these plain ones. That's what we're going to be using, and then you need to pick out a bead at the end that you're going to bead with it. I'm going to attempt to use this rondelle. I think it's a glass bead, um, but anyhow, put all that aside. <clears throat> and what we're going to need to do is let me get this on camera this so hard to film okay I'm gonna set these aside and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna take one of our jump rings and we're gonna put it through okay and then just bring it up top okay and I think what all I'm gonna do is um, Just put it back in there to hold it, okay? And then we're going to take this this one and we're going to put it inside of the ring, just like so, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take, we, oh my gosh, my kids are screaming, sorry about that. We're going to take the end of this one and we're going to put it I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Put it through the beads towards the bottom side, not towards the top. We want it towards the bottom. Okay, and we're just going to put that through. Okay, just like so. Okay. That way it curls around it. We're going to do the same with this one. We're going to put it through the ring okay if I can get a grip on it pull that through the ring and then we're going to take this into this one and pull it through the bottom part the bottom part of um, right here we're going to pull it through Okay, so now you should have it wrapped around, although I want to get mine straight to where it's not all twisted. So I think, let me twist this around to get it not twisted. It's important that if you don't want it twisted that you need to hold, you need to get it nice and straight before you put it on. Okay, so now we have it like this. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. So now that we have this, I'm going to try to uh, dodge this tri uh, cam or er, tripod. So now we have it like this. I'm just going to set that to the side. Now we want to deal with these. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to grab... Uh, I'm, this is kind of confusing. This has got to go that way. I'm going to hold the um, jump ring. And I'm going to grab this and, and bring it like this to keep it all 
in the same so it's not all twisted and I'm gonna go back up underneath but to the um, to the right of this string okay this is kind of confusing to show I may as well just it might be easier actually to use like a um, a needle a plastic needle sometimes I do that so then this one will just go like that and it will be on the right side okay which is what we're trying to go for so I'm going to take this one do the same thing just rub rub it this way to where it just kind of stays in the same order flip it over and make sure you're to the left of it on this side you know what I might just get my needle out because it actually this thing keeps I think I might do that but we'll do it on the next one grab the other side of that and it should be Let me make sure I got this right yes so what you're going for are these two you're going for those two in the center and this two on the outside that's what we're going for okay so now what we're gonna do is these two go together and these two go together like so okay okay so I'm gonna bring this straight down one will go on one side one will go on the other like that okay actually you know what that wasn't real bright let me do this first add another jump ring to it add another jump ring to it to where that's like that and then put this one on one this one on another and that'll just hold it there so that we can work with this see how that always gets loose okay so now what we're going to do is basically the same thing we're going to take this side and we're going to put it th through the jump ring okay just like so i'm going to take this side and i'm going to put it th through the jump ring hopefully you can see what i'm doing and that's basically what we're going to be doing just like so okay now we need to take this side take this side and I'm just going to slide my finger so that I keep it in somewhat of order and we are going to bring it through the jump ring like so okay can you see that brought it through and that's basically what we're going to do oh, I want to scoot this up a little further okay and do the same thing on the other side flip it over and let's see here we want to be to the left of this string so we want to go all the way on this side that makes sense let's pull it and now we have that again okay that's what we're going for and you can tighten it if you'd like actually that's probably the better idea it's just tighten it down that way and I know we're gonna have to slide this up too because there's too much space here but I'm gonna do this one first okay so I'm gonna take this left side okay or actually yeah it's this left side and I'm going to take it and slide it and I want it to be to the left of that okay 
Oh, that made no sense at all, did it? <laughs> Hold on. Got that mixed up. Let me put this back through again. You know what? I'm going to go get my little, um, what do you call it, needle thing. thought I had one sitting here, but apparently I don't. So let me see what I we're going to do here. Um... Okay, we're going to go in from the, how did we do that? We're going to go in through the back. So we're going to go like this, flip it over to where this stays in the proper order. And we're going to go up underneath and through the jump ring. And I think what I'm going to do is, what I keep saying I'm going to do. Okay. But I want to keep it in order. So I think it flipped a little bit. I didn't keep it in a great enough order. So. I think this is upside down actually. Okay. So. Hopefully I'm not confusing you. I wanted to. Keep it to where it's not all twisted. That's my point. So then that one went like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this one back. And then I'm going to do the same with this side. I just kind of rub my finger to keep it all in the proper order. And once I get it, I flip it over like that. And then we're going to go right. Or excuse me, we're going to have to go from up underneath. Hold on. Man, I'm really messing this up, aren't I? It's been a while since I made this design. So I'm going to go up through the jump ring and like this. Okay. Now the goal is to have the two, um, two strand bands or um, both sides of these on the center and these two strings on the outer side. Okay, that's the plan. So right there is what we're going for. So at this point, we want to lift these up again. And I'm going to try to keep it in halfway good order. But we want to um, get another jump ring, put it through. Just like so, okay. And I'm gonna put these back down again. Keep them in nice and tight. And I'll worry about moving this up in a little while. Okay, so now we're going to need to take this, this one. And since I wanna keep it nice and um, in order, I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, and then I'm going to put it through the jump ring, just like so. Pull it through. Did I do that right? I don't think I did that right. That is not cool if I can't remember. Okay. Let's see here. I think we're going to go up underneath. I'm sorry. Let's do this. We're going to bring this through up underneath. Okay? Just so that this all four of these strings are through. Okay? So since we did that, now I want to keep this in order. And then we want to go in through the back of the jump ring so that it hugs it like so okay now we're going to take this one and all we're going to do is put it through the jump ring okay and then make sure it's nice and straight because you want it to not be twisted you're going to come through and now we're going to bring it through the jump ring like this. 
Okay, so now, as you can see, if I can get this straight, now we're back to that again. Okay, this can, I might go ahead and try to move these up a little bit. So you can just slide it up to the top, take the next one, slide it up. <laughs> Looks like a mumble jumble mess, doesn't it? You can slide it up by using, making it tighter. See? Just like so. Okay. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to take this left side, pop this off. Keep it a little tight. Rub your hand through to keep it in the proper order. And now what we're going to do, actually go this way. We are going to go and bring this. You know what I'm going to do? I've told you this four times now. I've got a little plastic needle. I'm going to go ahead and put it through the needle. Because you know what? It just sometimes helps. Okay, so now we have this. Now we have this and we have the end on the string. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and bring this up from behind on the left side. Okay, bring this through and that will mean that's what we're going for. We're going for that centerpiece to be in the middle of the string. Okay, so that's what we're going for. And then I'm going to just put this back on and grab this one. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use my needle. It may take a little longer because you have to thread it, but the threading's simple. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in from the back, but all the way on the right-hand side because we want that to be in the center. Oops. We want that to be in the center, okay? So you're going to go in from the side. Pull it, it's so hard to see, you see that? That's what we're going for, okay? And then I'm going to take this and put it back here. So now you can see what we got going on. Just, and just pull these and it'll slide up, okay? All right. So that's what we're aiming to do, okay? I know this gets loose. If you had something else you could attach to this or attach it down here, however you want to do just to keep it in somewhat of an order, that would be good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple more times. Let me zoom out. Kind of hard to see what I'm doing. I'll try to keep you on camera. Okay, so now we need another jump ring. Okay. Get another jump ring, put it through. Okay, and there you go. Now I'm going to set one, put one over here. Okay, and one over here. Okay, now we've got this. Now what we want to do is bring this string through the jump ring, okay? And you may as well bring this one through the jump ring too while you're at it. <clears throat> okay, bring that up. Now, we're wanting to take the end of this one, keep it in the right so it's not twisted, and then come in from the back Okay, but you want it up underneath so that it hugs it. See, that's wrong. Or is it? No, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, so I did that, and now I'm going to pull this. And uh, come in from the back of the jump ring. Just like so. Pull it. 
And now we have it just like that. Yep, and that looks to be like it's right. If you need to tighten this up, you just pull on the strings and then pull on that. Okay, now it's nice and tight. Okay, you can either lay these aside or you can add them to here. I'm just going to lay them aside and I'll just fix them as I go. Or you can take a nice glass and just set it on top to kind of um, keep it out of its way like that. Sometimes that will help. I'm going to take this side and I'm going to go slide it and I'm going to put my little needle on and I'm going to slide it all the way to the right, to the right side of these strings, okay? Pull it up. Just like so. Put it back. And then pull this one through. Put it on the on the needle. And then bring it up from behind on the left side. Okay. And then that way both are in the center. Okay. And I've got it twisted once again, so I need to untwist it. Oh, why do I do that? This just makes it a little bit, just gets a little crazy. Okay, so there you go. And then I'm going to place this one back on here. Just like one more time, we're going to take both of these off. And we're going to put another jump ring on. Just like so. I'm going to put one of these on here to hold it down. And what I'm going to do, actually both of these, because we've got to do the light blue. Okay, so now that is that. I'm going to take this side and we're going to put it through the jump ring like so. And take the other side and put it through the jump ring, keeping it nice and untwisted as much as possible. And I'm going to, I guess I can do this. Um, left side first. I'm going to take this, keep it un, uh, to where it's not twisting, bring it through the jump ring like so. Okay, pull on it. Okay, now that it's hugging it. I'm going to set it over here, grab this one, do the same thing, keep it to where it's all untwisted, flip it over, bring it through the jump ring, trying to show you without my hands being in the way. Okay, and I want this to go up underneath this loop. Okay, so make sure it's the exact same way on both sides. Okay, I've got to sneeze. Hold on once, that was a big sneeze. Okay, and then I'm gonna just set this back over there, that way it holds it out of sight. And then I'm gonna take this one, try to keep it in a straight, I'm going to put my little, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to put my little um, needle on to make it easier. And then I'm going to um, come in from the back, but I want it to be on, on, the, on the, right, the right side of this string, okay? So let me see if I can do this. I'm going to hold this and go in from the back and pull this up. And that way, just keep it in order, which I don't think I did once again. Ah, oh, why do I do this to myself? 
I don't think it's in order. It needs to be twisted the other direction to keep it in the... Yeah, there we go. Well, my nose is just pouring. Okay. So, now that that's on the center, I can take the needle off, place it back on here, grab this left side, put the needle on, I just find it easier to get through the jump ring, and especially if you use a smaller jump ring. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go in from this left side, the left side of this string, or the strand. Let me make sure I have this in the proper... It's been twisted. Okay. See there? That's what we're going for right there. Those two need to be in the center. Okay? So that's what we're going for. And then I'm going to place it back here. So then the next step is just to go ahead and get another jump ring. Okay? So you take these two, put another jump ring through, or put them through a jump ring. And there you go. You're ready to get started. So I'm going to let you finish however long your wrist is. Now, you got to remember, these aren't going to be, because I'll show you a picture. Okay, this is the picture. So they don't have to be, like, right on top of themselves like that. I just did that to keep them nice and tight, but you can slide them down or whatever, to depending on what size beads you're going to use, because we're going to put a bead in between each one and so as you can see here you know how far apart uh, I had them you just want them to lay nicely okay so like in this case we could um, you know slide these down a tad you know just by pulling on it a little bit and you can see how each one you can slide down to where it has a uh, a little more space in between if you'd like but you want it to be close to the top at least for that one so that's kind of what I'm going for right there okay and you can actually depending on the size of your bead well my beads gonna be small because it's gonna be this one you know it, you've got to be able to fit it right there and that's not enough space so what we're gonna have to do is bring these down a little bit more to where this bead fits in between and you'll be able to tell we'll just mess with it after the fact get about I don't know one two three four five six maybe ten or twelve of them on there and then we can you know space these out and get ready to put our our beads on okay so go ahead and do some more and then I'll meet you back here for the next okay. step so I've got, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think I had 11 on my other one, but it's whatever you would like to do. <clears throat> but um, you can mess with it to get it in the proper order um, by loosening these up. And then you can see how bunched up it is. You want them to be somewhat... Um, in order I mean as far as the same width apart but um, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put them back on here and then bring these down like that and then I'm gonna check to see I'm gonna press on these pull them up pull them down whatever to get the proper see how there's a lot more room under that one Gonna just take it by the ring and, and move it up a little bit. Move this one up a little bit. And then this one way down here, I'm gonna have to move up. Okay. So you just kind of want them the same with the part, but you want to be able to fit the bead through. Okay, because there's gonna be a bead in between there. So 
you know, you can tell that there's a lot more space there. So I can scoot it up. Um, but that's how you do it. So get it how you're going to want it, and depending on the sides of, sizes of your beads. And then I'll meet you back and show you um, what you're going to need to do. You will need one. If I can get it one strand band because we're going to sew them on and you will need one of these to be able to sew it through okay I mean I don't think you have to have one of these you can use a threader I just have this but you can use a piece of floss Let's see if I've got a, sh a piece this is a really small piece because it had fallen apart, but you know, a piece of a threader of some sort, uh, dental floss, which that I wouldn't use dental floss. I would use fishing line or the beads that the, or the, the nylon string that the beads come on or whatever it's made out of, but you'll need one strand band and you'll need either a plastic needle that's not sharp or a um, a threader okay so let me get mine in order and then I'll come back and okay get going. so you're gonna need one strand of strand bands um, I cut mine because it was just so long I'm gonna take my little needle and I'm gonna pull it through and then what I'm gonna do is on this left side I'm gonna go from up underneath okay let me let me zoom this in so you can see. I want to go to the left. Well, let me try it from this side. It might be easier. The left. The left of the blue. Dark blue. But to the right of the light blue. And Well, <laughs> that was effective. Try it again. I'm going to come up through, take it off, put this one on, okay, and then I'm going to go in through this side, which is to the left of the white, or to the left of the light blue and to the right of the dark blue, and I'm going to bring this up through. Okay, you see how there's one on each side, the both strings are on the other on um, each side of the dark blue navy. That's what we're going for. Okay, so just take both ends, put them together, and bring it straight up so that they're both the same. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a bead and I'm switching colors because I think the darker color will look nice in between there instead of the same color as the bands. So I'm going to put <clears throat> my string through, my band through, my strand band. And then what I'm going to need is, and I've lost it. Okay, well that's not good. I'm going to need, I'm going to cut off a piece of fishing line, just like so. It's real thin because you need it to be, well, depending on the size of the hole of your bead. I needed a thin one, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it just like so. And then I'm going to put this side through it, okay? About like that. Okay? And I'm going to hold on to it. Okay? Then I'm going to take this side and I'm going to have it close to the edge, just enough for me to, to bring this band down and this band down and pinch it to where I make room for this to go both ends to go through like so okay and I'm gonna grab the end and I'm gonna pull sometimes nope that didn't work okay sometimes I'm gonna do it again I have to use Make sure that, say, it slid right through my fingers. I'm going to pinch it, put both ends through. Oh, 
Okay, you're not going to cooperate, are you? Put both ends through while you have it pinched. Okay, now I have both ends come through. Now I have to be real careful. Sometimes I use my, which I know they say never use your teeth, but I have to use my teeth sometimes because my fingers don't have a lot of strength. And I just pull to get it to start to come through. And then I'll just continue holding these two down to keep this, um, make it easier. Now I have both ends, okay? So what we're gonna end up doing, oh, I messed that part up. Okay, I've stretched this so far. You just gotta be real careful when you stretch. But basically, just like my beaded coil, you just want to pull, okay, on both sides, which this is a tight squeeze because the, the beads are a lot smaller. So I'm going to be really gentle, hopefully. I may have to switch back over to the other bead because this is just hard to, hard to do. But you see how we got this going? And you're just going to pull until it nestles right there. You see that? How it's just nestled on top? Okay. So then this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this side, put it back on the threader, and we're going to go in between, right beside that blue. You see that? But on the right hand side of the dark. And just bring it through. Actually, it needs to go through it actually needs to go through to the other side of I didn't bring it down far enough it needs to go to the other side of the um, the ring okay so I put that one through and then I'm gonna get this other side place it on okay and I'm gonna go making sure it goes through the actual ring and I'm going to place it right there. Now both sides, now it's on there. You see that? And now we just do the same thing again. This one's already on there so I'm going to place this and I'm going to go up and make sure I'm to the, le uh, the right of the light blue but to the left of the dark blue bring it up because what's going to hold it there is that dark blue navy band okay that was in the center so i'm going to pull that off grab this one okay and then i'm going to come up to the right hand side just like so bring it up okay and then I'm going to get another bead and place the one side on the bead. Okay, and I'm going to grab the other side and I'm going to get my threader. Almost lost my threader. Oh, I found both of them. That's hilarious. They're so small. I'm going to place it in between like so. Pinch the two sides of the threader together and then go like this and hold it at the edge because it's easy to slip through. That's what happened the last time. So then I'm going to bring this one as far over to the corner so I don't have as much to put through. I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to pinch it. Put both sides of the threader through and then I'm going to pull enough of it through where I can grasp it and just pull it through. Now I have both sides that are on the bead. You see that? Now all we do is, is we're going to just take it and pull both sides very gently. This side, one side wants to go and the other one doesn't so I have to be real gentle and not stretch it too far to where it snaps. Okay? And just keep doing that until you get to the very and just um, whatever way it wants to land, sometimes it's all twisted. 
so it just depends on how it wants to lay. You can untwist it and then just, it'll nestle right there. The second one is nestled. Okay, now you're gonna take this side and put it on. And you're gonna go in through to the left of this um, light band, okay? So what, that's what you're wanting to do. And make sure it goes through the um, jump ring. Pull it through, okay? Take this off, set it aside, get the other side, put it through. And then you wanna do the same thing over here. You want it to be to the right of that light blue okay and you pull it did we do that right I think we did we just need to just pull it and now it's nestled you see that now it's nestled the way it's supposed to okay and then we're gonna do the same thing again, all the way down. This is the last time I'm gonna show you. You can leave this, this one back on it, and you're gonna come up through the bottom, making sure you're on the left side of, the right side of the light blue, the left side of the dark blue. Bring this up, take it off, set it aside. Grab this side, put it through your threader or your needle and do the same thing. You're gonna come up through the back, making sure that you're um, in between there, okay? Take this off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other side, put a bead through it, or put it through a bead, like that. Set that aside, grab this side, and Get your little threader, put it through one side, put it through one side, can you see that? And put these two together, pinch it down like so, and hold it right there so it doesn't come off. Okay, then you're going to grab the other, other side which has the bead. And you're not going to do that. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm just going to hold it. Put the band through to the other side. Like that. Okay, I'm still holding this side. And I want to take both of these strings, or the bands, pull them down. Put both sides of your threader through. And you want to grab and pull your um, uh, I got part of it to come out. Now I've got to grasp it and pull it through. Okay. So there we go. Now we got two. Well, and I just busted it again. It's okay that I busted it because the this, this string was long enough that it's still gonna, it won't be too short to be able to finish it. So I've got all four of these like so on. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two and I'm just gonna pull, okay, on both sides and just pull it till it's tighter and then can just nestle in there, okay? Like so, now it's nestled, okay? And now I need to take this side and put it on the threader. And then you wanna go in between the bead. Okay, you need to make sure it's about right like that. Pull it and make sure it's going through the ring. Pull it. Okay, now it's on the other side. Now you wanna to go to this side And you want to do the same thing. Thread it, okay? And then you want to go 
in between here, oops, like so, okay, pull it through, okay, I'm not making this that clear, am I? And what I want to do is pull this side until it pops through. There we go. Now it's nestled in there and both sides are from behind. Okay. And then you're just going to continue that all the way down. Okay. So go ahead and finish this and it's in there real good and tight because it's sewn in and then we'll be done. And I'll show you how to close okay. it. I'm basically done. Except for you need to make sure that your spacing is where you want it. You know, if you need to, like there's not, there's too much space here. You just grab a hold of it the ring and pull the ring up just a smidge and going all the way down till you get it spaced the way that you want it okay so hopefully mine is spaced how I want it okay and now you just have these two strings and all we're just gonna do and there's no you know you can close it off any way that you want I'm gonna pull this up this up all of these Okay, so they're all basically like that, and we're just going to tie a knot. We're just going to tie a knot, so I can take it off here. See there? That's pretty awesome, and it's really substantial because I used heavy beads and heavy uh, um, jump rings. You don't have to, but that's just what I had on hand. Didn't have quite enough of the um, decorative ones. Um, but you can just basically um, make, tie a knot or do it however you would like to close it. Everybody does it a little different. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to just do it this way. Okay. Come on now. Got to make sure all the strands are in there and I want this to be as close to the end as possible okay like that all right and let me move this there you have it it can either lay like that or if you like it this way however you would like it okay so pretty neat and like I say if it's still not exactly how you want it it's just a matter of moving the rings up just a smidge to get them to where you would like them to be I think I spaced it out fairly well and that's that so this is the winding vine bracelet my original design and hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope I didn't totally confuse you. I haven't done a tutorial for strand bands in a while, and I want to find the right way. I've got, I just got a tripod that's not a table tripod that I might be able to get a full view on. That's half my issue here, is not being able to get the proper view to show you. So, okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you decide to make one. And if you do, if you could please tag and hashtag your renditions to Artisan Lou. And also give me a, um, a thumbs up and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm also known as Artisan Loom on um, Instagram and also a Facebook page called Artisan Loom Bead Queen. So hope you enjoy. Take care. Till next time. Bye.